So about a week ago, I did a thing called the pram race in which you take a pram, which is considered to be a vehicle with at least one wheel, which is able to carry a person. Now you take this pram across seven stations, stopping at each one to have a drink. Um, in between all the stages are loads of people with basically water pistols and water balloons firing water at you. And, you know, I thought it wouldn't be too bad. I thought it'd be all right. But, but then I did it. And I've now realized that there are seven stages of emotions you go through whilst you're completing this race. And I'm gonna go through them one by one. So the first first emotion you go through is confidence. You're on the start line, you're, you're feeling good, you're, you're proud of your build. Speaking of build, if you wanna see me build it, link right here, just click that. Anyway, you're confident in your abilities. You've, 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 you've worked hard on this build. You're, you're excited for the, for the route ahead. You're gonna do it, it's gonna be great. Welcome to the prime race, we are here, Jess. Hi. hi. Okay, so we're all decked out in our awesome gear. Toby is there looking like that guy that begins to help No one really knows Cloud what man. he's called. Cloud guy. Um, and here is our lovely pram. Oh, she's gonna need it further, right? Bill. <laughs> Bill, Bill, Bill. <laughs> yeah, not gonna lie, the pram isn't gonna last more than I'd say maybe two or three stops, but it'll be fun, so that's cool. See you, see you on the other side. Then suddenly, you cross the start line. Get on that first straight, and then you reach emotion number two, which is pain. <laughs> Kick oh, this, is more bad idea. <laughs> this is brutal! <laughs> so much pain. As you're running down this first straight, there are people lined either side of you throwing water balloons that are not bursting, hitting you straight in the face, straight in the regions I don't particularly want to mention. All the while, you're trying to carry this thing. It's much heavier than you thought, and it's not going well. Then in comes emotion number three, which is regret. Immediate regret. Who thought this was a good idea? Why do we sign up to this? Why do we do it in a wheelbarrow? Who knows? Lots of questions you don't know the answer to because it's not, it's not good. You're, you're, not, you're not in a good place. This is exhausting. <laughs> Time to it. And then the wind starts to blow. Now, throughout this past bit, you've basically been bombarded by water balloons, water pistols. You're soaked at this point, okay? And if you if you've been looking at the weather recently in the UK, it's not exactly been warm. So when that wind starts to blow, you reach stage four, which is hypothermia. Oh my god. <sighs> so we're a bit wet, just a tad. Though this bit, <laughs> nice and dry. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! It's so cold! It's so cold! <sighs> it's bloody freezing, and that's not even an understatement. So after a while, you're, you're running, you're, you're getting moving, and you realise, you know what, it's actually not that cold, your, your body's heating up, you're doing alright, you, you've got over stage 4. And then you hit stage 5, which is the, I swear I used to be fitter than this stage. <laughs> <laughs> So there you are, puffing and panting, running along, trying to look cool in front of your friends who are way ahead of you at this point because you're really unfit. And then you suddenly remember what comes next. I just remember what comes next. Oh God! The hill. Oh shit. The, the final hill, which is a big hill. And then you reach there, say six, which is fear of what's about to come. You are petrified. This is a steep hill. You're in a wobbly wheelbarrow which doesn't steer straight and the front wheel is definitely collapsing. You're, you're about to get to the end but you know there is a long way to go. You make it to the top of the hill and you finally reach stage 7 which is thankfulness that you're still alive in that death trap of a pram. So the pram race was finished and I mean it's it survived. You can just have, have a look at it. It's not, it's not terribly terribly broken. I mean, the wheels buckled, the top bits collapsed, and the, the side bits aren't looking much better, but to be honest, it could be worse. I mean, it's still usable as a wheelbarrow. Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. I'm amazed it survived, to be honest. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, then give it a like. If you want to see more stuff like this, then give it a subscribe. I'm currently doing Vegger, which is a video every day in July, almost, because I'm not that good. Uh, next video will be out on Monday, so I will see you then.